Hi guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is make a slip knot. Then we're going to place it on our hook and tighten it up. And now we are going to chain 33 with the worsted weight yarn. And this makes a bookmark that measures approximately seven and a half inches long by one inch wide. If you would like to make a longer or shorter bookmark, you are going to chain a multiple of two and then add five chains afterwards. So for example, you could chain uh, 18 and then add five for a chain of 23. So right now we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into the second chain from the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We should have three loops on our hook. Now we're going to insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, and we have four loops. We're going to insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, and we have five loops. We're going to do that once more in the next chain, and we should have six loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops and chain one. To start our next stitch, we are going to insert our hook into the chain one space of the last stitch. This is called the eye. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Then we're going to insert our hook underneath that last leg of the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to insert our hook into the space where our stitch is and yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to do this same thing in the next two chains. So we're going to insert our hook into the chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. We should have six loops on our hook and just like before we're going to pull through all six loops on our hook and chain one and that finishes off our star stitch. For the next stitch we are going to do the exact same thing as our second stitch. We are going to insert our hook into the eye of the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Now we're going to insert our hook underneath the leg of the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. We're going to insert our hook into that chain where our stitch, our last stitch is, yarn over and draw up a loop. And then in the next two chains, we are going to yarn over and draw up a loop. And we should have six loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops and chain one. So I want you guys to repeat this process for each stitch across and I'll meet you guys back here at the end of the row. There should be two chains remaining at the end of the row for the last stitch and just like before we are going to do the exact same thing so we're going to go into the eye of the stitch the leg of the last stitch the chain of the last stitch and the next two chains and we should have six loops on our hook so we're going to yarn over draw through all six loops and chain one so you just finished row one and we should have 15 stitches in total Turn your work and we are going to start row 2. So you'll notice that I chained one at the beginning of row 2. Don't do that. Instead, make one single crochet directly into the eye of the last stitch and make another single crochet into the last part of the stitch. Now into the eye of the next stitch, we are going to make two single crochets. So we're going to be working two single crochets into the eye of each stitch across. So that first stitch is always worked a bit different, but every stitch after that is always going to be two single crochets into the eye. To fasten off, we are going to insert our hook into the side of the first stitch of row one and we're going to make a slip stitch and fasten off. 
Now with a pair of scissors, we're going to trim our tail and we're going to pull it tight. This just makes our bookmark look seamless. And at this point guys, it is time to weave in our ends and add tassels. Thread a yarn needle with one of your tails and we're going to turn our work so that we are working along the back side of the bookmark so that we can hide our yarn. Now we're going to weave the, the needle through a few stitches, a few more stitches, and then we are going to secure it with a knot. And now we're going to weave it through a few more stitches and then we are going to cut our tail because our yarn tail is secure. And now we are going to repeat the process for our second tail and weave it in. Alright guys, it's time to add a tassel. So, you can use anything from a book to a container to a, a cardboard piece as long as it measures approximately two and a half to three inches long. This is just so that you can create a really nice small size tassel and not waste too much yarn. You're going to be wrapping the yarn around this object seven times and then you are going to be securing it with a new piece of yarn by making a double knot. Now we're going to cut along the bottom edge of the object and that just releases the tassel. We're also going to cut the working yarn and then with a brand new piece of yarn we're going to shape the tassel by wrapping the yarn around it about three to four times and then secure that with a double knot. So now we're going to trim that little tail off and we are finally going to attach the tassel to the bookmark. So we're going to attach it at the very top of the bookmark. So thread, thread that yarn needle, insert it into the top of the bookmark, and when you're happy with the length of your tassel, you're going to secure it with a double knot before weaving in I know, I think there are so many ends to weave in before weaving it through the back of your bookmark and cutting the tail. Now it's time to trim the bookmark and make it all nice and even and pretty. At this point, you guys might notice that your bookmark isn't exactly lying flat. So we're going to fix that by blocking our bookmark. So to do this, you are going to stick straight pins into your bookmark, really stretch it out and make it straight and get it into position. With a spray bottle or steamer, soak the fabric with steam or water. If you are using a steamer, make sure to keep one to two inches away from your bookmark so that you don't burn the cotton. Once you are done with that, it's time to gently pat that water or that steam into your bookmark and your tassel so that it gets into the fabric and straightens it. Now, once the bookmark is dry, you can remove your pins and you have a bookmark that you can use. I really hope that you enjoyed this pattern and this project. If you did, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe for more fun crochet content. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.